My name is Maria Mant, and I live in District 3. While new to these meetings, I am not new to the impact of motor vehicle speed on injury patterns and mortality rates in, in pedestrian and bike victims. As a pediatric emergency medicine doctor at Children's Hospital Colorado, I have spent the last 15 years picking up the pieces for children and their families who are impacted by speed-related vehicular accidents. The anatomy of the pediatric patient is different. Kids' vital organs have less protections, their ribs break easier, and their skulls crush with less force. All of these physical developmental differences result in more severe and widespread injuries in children compared to adults when hit with the same force. A child hit by a vehicle traveling under 20 miles per hour looks very different than a trauma, than, uh, very different in my trauma bay than one hit at speeds over 20 miles per hour. Slowing traffic down through, through slower speed limits, intelligent road designs and barriers, and narrowed streets has been shown to reduce mortality rates. I am a mother who walks my child to Euclid Middle School every day and sees cars entering the bike lane as they speed around the roundabout trying to beat the car coming from the opposite direction. I have cringed as cars hit the brakes when a child comes suddenly into view, narrowly escaping an accident. And I have physically pulled my child back as a car speeds down a lottie and drifts across the painted line of the bike lane. Lastly, I am the bystander who gave CPR to Liam for eight minutes before EMS arrived. I, along with my 12-year-old son, watched Liam be hit and dragged by the vehicle that killed him. Liam was following all of the rules. He was in the bike lane. He was simply biking to school in an unprotected bike lane. I have to deal with the aftermath of the impact this has had on myself as a physician, as a mother. The impact it's had on my son, who was a friend to Liam, and my neighbors. I am angered by a pediatric emergency medicine physician and a mother that so much is left to chance for our kids and for our community. Rather than our city employing the Vision Zero efforts embraced by so many other communities, it is a basic right for all of our citizens to be safe during their daily commute, not just the adult, able-bodied, experienced rider who feels perfectly safe biking recreationally during their downtime, but to keep our children safe, Thank you, Ms. our senior community members safe, and our bike commuters safe. Thank I urge you, Maria, you to reconsider the 2024 budget. Thank you.